Hi, first grade, we're in lesson 5-5, add three numbers, okay? I can find different strategies to add three numbers. Okay, you're welcome to have your math manipulatives on the side here to help you add. You can use your cubes or counters or anything on your orange folder. Okay, so this lesson is very similar to 5-4. We're still working with three add-ins, okay? So on page 323, let's take a look at the top e problem. Carlos made stacks of six books four books, and six books. How can you use addition to find the number of books in all three stacks? Write two different equations to show how many books in all. Well, let's show what we know first. I'm going to put in my numbers in my equation. Okay, six, four, and six. Okay, and remember, I'm going to add two numbers first the two easiest numbers for me that I would know the answer to or that would be the easiest for me to solve. I'm going to add six plus four because I know that makes 10. And then I'm going to add the sum of six plus four to the last add end, which is six. 10 plus six, I can count on from 10. I can use my number cubes or my counters. 10 and 6 more. I have 10. Let's show 6 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can count on. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 10 plus 6 equals 16, which means 6 plus 4 plus 6 equals 16. Now another way I can do this is change the order of the add-ins. Instead of 6 first, I'm going to put 4 plus six, plus six. Remember, you wanna have the same add-ins, just in different order. The order does not change the answer. The answer is still going to be 16. Okay, let's keep continue to practice that on the next page. Okay, four numbers one and two. We need to add the circled numbers first, write their sum in the box, then write the sum for all three numbers. Okay, they circle two plus nine first. The entire equation is two plus nine plus one. We need to solve for the first two add-ins, two plus nine. Okay, you can use any addition strategy that you uh, think is simple for you. You can use a number line, you can use your counters or your cubes. I'm going to use my cubes. I'm gonna start off with nine, the biggest add-in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and I'm going to add two more. Let's count on. Nine, 10, 11. So two plus nine equals 11, and remember you wanna add one more to 11 to get the sum of all three numbers. 11, 12. 11 plus one equals 12. Okay, another way you could have added this is by adding nine plus one, which is 10, and 10 plus two is also 12. So it does not matter which two numbers you choose to add first, you will get the same answer either way, okay? Just find the two numbers that you think are easiest to add first. Let's do number two. Six plus three let, plus two. So let's solve for six plus three first. I'm gonna count on six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm going to take the sum, which is nine, and add it to the third add in, nine plus two. Let's count on, nine, 10, 11, which means six plus three plus two equals 11. Another way you can solve this is by adding three plus two first. Three and two more equals five. But remember, don't forget to add the third add-in to that. Five and six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is six plus five? Let's count on. Six, seven, eight, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So the sum does not change. It doesn't matter which order you add the add-ins in. You will still get the same sum. Okay, they want you here to find two numbers to add first and then write their sum in the box and add the last add-in to it. So let's do number three together. Six plus six plus one. Now I know six plus six because this is a doubles fact. Six plus six equals 12. This is easy for me to solve. And 12 plus one more is 13. Okay, I'd like you to do the same thing for the rest of the page. Please circle the two numbers that you're going to add first, write the sum of those two numbers in the box, and don't forget to add the third add-in to the sum. Okay, share your work when you're done with page 325.